guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to tofu. Uh, I feel it. I'm filming. I'm filming. Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how to tofu. Now, the relationship that people usually have as tofu is usually the one that's very binary. It's either you have a good relationship with tofu or it's either you really hate it. And I'm hoping that I can try and convert those of you that hate it um, to the good side. <laughs> Help you realize that tofu is actually a very, very good source of just to help you to be more creative with your tofu and to basically show you the benefits of tofu. Now, what is tofu? Tofu is a soy based product that is made out of soy beans that have been fermented and eventually it becomes tofu through their many many processes and using pressure and is actually a very very nutrient dense product as a result of the fact that it's made from soybeans. Obviously the first nutrient that is very important that we get from soybeans is protein and hence we also get it from tofu. And another nutrient that is very important that we get from tofu that I really like is that it's calcium rich and also iron rich as well. Tofu has different textures in which it's made ranging from a silky texture that's usually used for desserts and pies and creamy sauces like a cheese sauce to your medium firm tofu that's also could be used for the aforementioned um, recipes that I told you like desserts and sauces and pies to a firmer tofu and that one is actually my personal favorite because you can use this to make mock meats like chicken nuggets which I'm sure I will show you in due time. You can also use this to make crispy tofu which I love, I really really love and if you get the best combination of spices that's suited to your preferences and the crispier the better then I'm like there's no reason why you shouldn't like tofu. Uh, and another product that you can make from the medium firm tofu is another favorite recipe of mine which is tofu scramble which is basically eggs basically we're just trying to really replicate eggs and in order to really get it to taste like eggs you can use black salt but I don't have that but anyway you can still really really make a delicious tofu scramble without the black salt and without the eggy flavor just by using your favorite veggies like mushrooms and peppers garlic your seasoning it's all about the seasoning guys it's always all about the seasoning and if you're interested to see my different ways of using tofu then please keep watching because now I'm going to be showing you how to make my personal favorite. Okay, really, it's not my personal favorite. I really love crispy tofu. I think they're here. But I'll be showing you how to make a very simple and tasty tofu scramble. So let's go over to our pan. Stop. Now, first, we're going to melt some butter. I like butter. You can use oil as well. I'm using the Flora Vegan Butter. And we're just going to melt a tablespoon of that. This is a nonstick pan, so you don't have to do that. I just think it adds a nice, a really nice flavor to the tofu, and that's why I am adding it. And while that is melting, we're also going to just add in our onion, garlic, and ginger. That's our onion. In it goes. Our ginger. In they go. And our garlic. And then we're going to cook the onions until they're translucent. Turmeric for some color because we do want our tofu to be a little bit yellow. Um, half a teaspoon of some ground cumin. Like I said, seasoning, you add your favorite seasonings. I'm also adding in half a teaspoon of mixed herbs, dried. And then I'm gonna add in the rest of my veggies. I'm adding in all of them um, the way they are, which are. And now we're gonna add in all our veggies, which are my mushrooms, um, some cherry tomatoes, some baby marrow, some yellow slash green pepper, and some red pepper as well. Just want our veggies to cook, and once they're cooked, you're also gonna add in our tofu in here as well and some jalapenos for some spiciness you know me you know how i do and some water and then 
closing the pot. We're just gonna crumble like this. See, this is what I like about this. I don't have to squish out any liquid. I'm just putting it in the way it is, the way it is. I'm just gonna put in a little bit of turmeric, just for a little bit of that yellow color. that's it guys that is my tofu scramble my go-to tofu scramble um this would have tasted even more authentic if i had had it in black salt but i didn't have that so i'm stop eating um thank you for watching this video i hope that you can know how to tofu now the different ways that you can use tofu unfortunately i didn't show you how to make dessert using tofu like a, a chocolate ganache or some sort of silky cheese pasta sauce but i will show you that in due time I, like I, I promise you i just wanted to show you how you can use tofu in versatile ways i showed you in my previous video if you watched it when i made the the spices we ginger stir fry i showed you how to make crispy tofu and in this video i showed you how to make tofu scramble those are just a few ways that you can make tofu alive make it come alive um and really the world is your oyster mushroom the world is your tofu <laughs> until next time Thank you.